Hey everybody, welcome back to my Angel Tarot. This is Mimi. Um, we gonna go ahead and do Capricorn for the month of September. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. Please give us some clear, clairvoyant messages for the star sign of Capricorn. You can also be a Capricorn, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury. If you have Capricorn placements in your charts, this reading is for you and you will get some messages that resonate with you. The whole message may not resonate with you. Bits and pieces may resonate with you. I mean, shit. This message may resonate with the person you're dealing with. You never know. Flip it and reverse it. Only you know your story. Capricorn. What's up with my Capricorns for um September? Community. So you may be um you may be going out more. You may be dealing with a lot more people. You know, you may be more social and with the community, you know, like doing community service or some shit like that. You may be like real active with the community, volunteering, things like that. Never ending story. Building blocks. Truth be told and orphaned. So what I'm getting from my Capricorns right now is that you do a lot of volunteer work with the community. And the reason why you do this is because you feel alone all the time. So you would rather help the community build on top of the community, you know, build your status in the community to show people the true you. But it's like, while you're doing this, you feel like orphaned. You feel very alone. But this is you exchanging gifts, you know, like with spirit. You feel me like you're being blessed by giving your energy, giving your volunteering self to the community. So God is opening you up to some spiritual gifts, you know, um, you're giving other people hope type shit you know like your gift of knowing your parts and you know like what it is that you can do to help people you're giving them hope in exchange god is opening you up to your gifts you feel me like you may be clairvoyant you may uh be a palm reader you may be a tarot reader you may be highly intuitive you feel me like only you know what your spiritual gifts are we have clean it up in reverse. So this is telling me that you need to clean up the way that you feel about yourself. You give so much love, time, and dedication to the community that you're not giving yourself that, that much time and dedication or energy. That's why you're feeling orphaned. That's why you're feeling alone. You're making everybody else's life milk and honey. You're making everybody else's life real easy. And, you know... Like they have a chance, but you're not making yourself feel like that, Capricorn. You have to put yourself first. It's okay to be out here for the community, and it's okay to help others. But you have to help yourself. You can't keep giving your energy to other people, and they're not giving it back to you. You're draining yourself. Go the distance. Go the distance. You've been going the distance for other people. It's time to go the distance for yourself. It's time for you to give yourself some self-love, some self-care. Go the distance for yourself. She's a runner. She's a track star. She gonna run away when it gets hard. It's this video that I seen uh, on the shade room. <laughs> And the dude was performing and Boosie Boo. He was like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Y'all cannot say Boosie is not the funniest nigga on the planet right now, man. This nigga should have been a fucking comedian. Boosie is so fucking funny, man. Uh, all right, let's see what the tarot cards got to say. Thank you, holy angels. Thank you, holy spirit. Holds all in my business. 
the sun. See, you have to give yourself your own happiness. You have to give yourself your own happiness. This is also the Leo card. So you may have Leo placements in your shit. You know, you may be a Leo, sun, moon, rising, anything. You feel me? Like, if you have Capricorn and Leo in your chart, then this is for you. But you, you've been waiting. You've been waiting for your ships to come in. Whatever it is that you've been working on. It's like you've been working on yourself. You feel me? Like, yeah, you've been going towards the community, but you've been listening to your intuition and you've been going the distance. And now you're waiting for your ships to come in because you know for a fact that you have something to offer yourself. You had to clean up your train of thought. You had to clean up your way of thinking. You, you had to take away from giving so much to others so that you can find that sun, so that you can find that happiness within yourself. You followed your intuition. You're very intuitive. You're like fucking psychic or some shit, you know? You're literally psychic. And you know that you have a lot to offer. You know that you have a lot to offer. I don't know what it is that you was going through, but... You were stuck in your head for a long time. And the way that you got over what it is that you were thinking was to, um, was to you know, give back to the community. The empress just popped out. I'm not going to take it, but you're very fertile. Whatever it is that you want to bring to life, you can bring to life. Because that's just what you are. You're walking away from anything that is keeping you away from yourself. You're walking towards yourself. You're on this spiritual journey. You followed your intuition. You're on this spiritual journey. Go, blah, you're on this spiritual journey going towards your son. Going towards your happiness because you know what it is that you want. We have the motherfucking hierophant. People come to you for advice. You are very spiritual. You are very awakened. You know what it is that you're talking about. People come to you. People look up to you. People look up to you and you have to stop taking from yourself. You have to stop lying to yourself. And that's what you're getting away from. That's why that seven of swords came up in the reverse. You, you're being more honest with yourself. You're finally putting yourself first. You're tired of feeling orphaned. You're giving all of your gifts you're giving all of your light. You're giving all of your love to the community. And you still feel alone. Because ain't nobody giving it back to you. Ten of Wands. You giving so much more to other people was burdens for you. That was a burden for you. Just like I said, you can't keep giving and not receiving anything in return. And you followed your intuition. And that's why you're moving forward towards your son. Cause some motherfucking secret stuff came out. Maybe the secret was that you have to give to yourself. Stop taking from yourself, giving to other people, and they're not giving it back. You have to give to people who give right back to you. Cause that's called vampirism. When people take your energy and they're not giving it back, you you pretty much just killing yourself. And that's the truth. The fucking truth came out. You may have Pisces in your chart. We also have judgment right here. You may be a fucking Libra. This um, this King of Cups, I've been seeing this the whole time we were shuffling. You are finally following your intuition. You're finally giving yourself this love. You're finally giving yourself the self-love that you need. Take a break from giving to other people. Give to yourself. The motherfuckers gonna keep taking from you. They gonna keep taking from you and they gonna give you shit. Let's get the moonology. Get some advice. Bring love into the situation. Bring love into yourself. Look at the bigger picture. 
The bigger picture is more than what you're giving to other people. The bigger picture is what your bigger picture is. Don't let your past hold you back. Stop giving. Stop giving and giving and giving. Give to yourself. Give yourself that self-love. Give yourself that self-care. Put yourself the fuck first. Or you just gonna continuously allow motherfuckers to drain your energy. And you're gonna end up going crazy. Because you ain't gonna have no more energy. Stop giving your energy away. Give the energy to yourself. If you don't have nobody pouring your cup up, do it yourself. But you have to stop giving all of your energy away to everybody who ain't giving it back to you just because you feel lonely. Capricorn, this has been your reading for September. And I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs>